In the Atacama Desert, George has called in wildlife camerawoman Sophie Darlington. Her thermal camera will be able to capture the vampire bats feeding. What we need to do to nail it is to see them feeding. That's That that's, would be extraordinary. That's it. George has tracked them to a sea lion colony on the far side of the island. It could be a perfect source of blood for the bats. We're coming down here. It's going to be absolutely awesome. That would be incredible. Sophie's night vision cameras should provide the answer. Well, we're just waiting for the bats to arrive. We're almost set up now. So any minute now, the vampires will be flying. Soon after George and Sophie arrive, so do the bats, flitting close to them, attracted by their body heat. What do you got? What do you got? Let's see. Come on. OK. There's a big bull, yeah. and there's been a bat flying around, completely harassing him. Oh, yeah, I can see it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. There's two of them there. Three. There's three of them. That was a bite. This is unbelievable. Look at it. It knew it and there's there. one at the back. There's, there's one more right than there. one. The bats are all over them. They're all over them. Look, They're look following the it. Look, the, there's a vampire bat. Look, it's just following it up behind it. Look at it. It's right on the back. It's just unbelievable. So they are feeding on sea lions. The bats employ a clever strategy when attempting to feed on an animal many times their size. They land close by and creep towards an area of flesh the creature will struggle to defend. They're attacking from the rear, and the sea lions know they're there, and they keep turning putting their head up. And as the sea lion moves, they, they just keep following it. And the poor sea lions are being harassed. I mean, they really are aware of them. Of Look the at them hopping, there. George. You know, it dispels the, the myth of the, you know, the instead of animals having a quiet sleep at night. They're not. It's torment. It's absolute torment. They must be exhausted in the morning. These bats, they're completely and utterly just going for it. Oh! Oh! Wow! One's just been hit by that wave. <laughs> I just can't believe what I'm seeing. Weighing 40 grams, each bat can consume half its own body weight of blood in a single feed, lasting up to 20 minutes. Is that a hot spot there? Is that, is that the hot spot? That's where it's been. We can see the wound. Good grief. We can see the wound on the flipper. Only the thermal camera can reveal this extraordinary behavior. The bats are going into the rear end because that's where it's hottest, and you can really see that in the thermal camera. They're very, very bright, which means the blood's very close to the surface, so easy access for the bats and an easy meal, I'd reckon. To see the wound, the heat signature of the wound left by a vampire bat on the flipper of a sea lion in pitch darkness, that is just... that is truly awesome. It is the last of the team's mysteries solved. Now we know what's happening. That's why the, the, there's a permanent colony of vampire bats here, because there's a permanent colony of big, fat, blood-filled <laughs> food bags for them. <laughs>